Hi there, here's Tati from Emeos. Today I would like to explain how the Emeos Marketplace extension works for the marketplace owner and the vendors. You can find more information about the Emeos Marketplace here. For my tutorial, I will use the Emeos Marketplace demo. If you want to play with the demo yourself, then you can request the access here. The demo itself is available at demo.emeos.com. First, I'm going to log in as a vendor and add a new product. This product shall be available on the marketplace and in the shop of the vendor. Click on the plus on the product tab. In the basic tab, I will fill in the most important fields. And in the media tab, I will add an image. Also add the short description. We also need at least one price. And don't forget to add a stock level so customers can buy the product. You also must assign the product to a category. Now save your product and go to the front end. In the shop of our vendor, you can now see the new product. And in the marketplace, it's shown too. So customers will be able to buy the product either using the marketplace or in the shop of the vendor. It's not available in the shop of our second vendor, as you can see. At last, log into the account of the marketplace owner. In the product panel, you can also see the product you just created as a vendor. You cannot change the product as a marketplace owner, but you have the overview of which products are available in your marketplace. To modify or remove products from vendors, you have to switch to the vendor site first, using the site selector in the navigation. Using the Emeos extension for simple marketplaces is only one option. It's also possible to build trees of marketplaces with several marketplace levels for different segments. If you configure the extensions to inherit data only, you can build complex B2B applications, dropshipping, reseller and affiliate systems too. I'll explain some of these options in further videos. Tada! Thanks for watching. See you. Your Tati from Mamias.